Hi guys, how you doing? So today we're going to do a project on the toilet. We're going to change it around and adapt it a little bit. Let me show you what we're going to do. So we just got back from a trip to Connecticut. And Doug told me that he's not comfortable in this toilet. So apparently, guys need a bigger toilet than girls need. They got to fit the junk inside in the front and with the bum and stuff. So I guess he's not comfortable with that. So he hasn't really been using it. So I wanted to make something more comfortable. So we're going to still use this and just do some adaptations to it. So we're going to keep this. And we're going to get rid of this whole seat and bucket. It's actually shaped more like an oval, an oblong toilet. We're going to cut this down so it's the same level as the other bucket was, right to the top of the lid. So this is the toilet with the lid. So what we're going to do is make this the actual toilet seat. We're going to trace the toilet on here, cut out an oval that'll be smaller than the opening to the bucket. So the bucket sure and catches everything. And the bucket will go right to the top. And then we will sit in the toilet this way. So that'll be the front of the toilet. This will be the back. So everything else will stay the same. Then we got the piece of wood out there. It's about almost a three quarter inch piece of wood. We're gonna use that as a lid. We're just gonna attach it to this lid with a with, uh, with a piano hinge, just like this. So the hole will be here and then the lid will close. And then I'm going to have cushion inside the on, on that lid and staple it down with some fabric over it. So then when we need to use the toilet, we'll just actually hinge up the lid and we can just use the toilet, which will be easier. We won't have to, we won't have to have all these cushions on there. I just, these are from the front seat too, but we won't have to have any cushions there. It'll be attached with fabric. Uh, I'm gonna use a staple gun. So there'll be less to move around actually when we need to use the toilet. We'll just be opening the lid, using it, and it will only need to lift this big lid off when we need to dump it. But I, if it was just pee, we, sh we should be able to just you know, reach in and get the pee bucket, no problem. So that's our project for today. So Doug happened to need a new toilet seat, so we're just going to use this new toilet seat to trace. And as you can see, it's smaller than the bucket, so that'll be perfect. So we're just going to trace this opening right here onto the lid. So this is going to be the lid to the toilet. So I'm just going to trace around this lid. Line it up. So that way we can still sit on it once it has the hole in it. Maybe you should have made a little extra here for your junk. <laughs> there we go. So that's the inside what the bucket's going to rest on. And it needs to come right up to the bottom of this lid, which is six and three eighths. So I'm going to mark the bucket at six and three eighths and cut all around it. Ready? <laughs> 
Perfect. So now I have my exercise mat cut to fit the lid. I think I'll glue it and then I'm going to put fabric over it and staple gun it. There's a staple gun on the back. Doesn't bind nice and easy. Good. That's great, those piano hinges. <laughs> We have these little hoses that we cut open. So they're kind of grippy, so we're hoping it will keep it from sliding around. Yeah, that seems to work. You push on it, it doesn't move. It just makes it tight enough. Perfect. Beautiful. Do you have to poop? Not yet. <laughs> go drink some coffee. <laughs> so we made these go on the outside because we didn't want them to get pinched in there. So yeah, so the pee bucket will fit in without us even having to open the big lid, which is nice. It's a little, what's the bump in there? Oh. The the so the bottom of the bucket has a little bit of a bump. Doug has an idea. He likes to over-engineer everything. But this will be simple. <laughs> So this isn't level here, so he's gonna... But even this has a curve to it, Doug. Yes, we'll put something between them. Yeah. Okay. Actually. <laughs> Half hour later, problem is solved. <laughs> I think it's gonna be more like that. That's good. Put a scrap in the other side if you want. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, scrap right here. God forbid Doug's girlfriend has an uneven pee bucket. <laughs> no, that, that won't work. All right, we'll try this again. So we got these little things on the, to keep the bag in. And action. <laughs> it's already, all right, so those can go on the side. Sanitizer. So one thing that can't fit in is the toilet, well, the toilet paper can fit in, but now that we're not opening this lid each time, I need the toilet paper to be elsewhere. So I'll just have to put the toilet paper in one of the kitchen drawers. And now this is level. You sure you don't have to make boo-boom? I'm sure. <laughs> You'll be the first to know. <laughs> oh, joy. <laughs> Poop station 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> Toilet 2.0. So now instead of having to lift this whole big lid off when we need to go to the bathroom, we can just do that. Polyurethane, all this. It's very smooth. We sanded the crap out of it. Ha, no pun intended. And it's a pee bucket for me. Well, I can't wait to try it. I think I'll try it right now. So please let me know in the comments what you think, if you have any other ideas. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Take care.